Of that breaking news, a toddler has been killed after a fire at a Roseland apartment building. Anthony Ponce is live with details. Roseanne, this fire broke out right around 8 o'clock as a number of mothers who live in this building were uh, actually out of the building taking their children to school. The fire department had it out by 9 a.m., however, not before uh, a little girl said to be a toddler lost her life in this. Apparently, firefighters found her in a second floor unit in a bedroom with a lot of debris. You can see some of that debris strewn outside the building and the turnaround here just south of the unit itself. Firefighters say they did an extensive search and located the little girl, but their resuscitation attempts failed. She later died at Comer Children's Hospital. Two adults, including the girl's mother, reportedly made it out of the unit, which fire officials say had no working smoke detectors. And we did a short time ago speak with another second floor resident, a mother who narrowly evacuated her own four children, who says she as well heard no alarms going off. Once I saw it was a fire, I went upstairs and got the rest of my family out. And when we came outside, I saw the mom on the ground screaming and crying. She was saying her baby was upstairs, so I was consoling the mom. And I just did speak with the management company who manages this building, uh, asked them about the fire, uh, the smoke detector situation. They did not offer me a comment on that, saying that they were still waiting for more information from authorities here in Chicago. It's actually a Wisconsin-based company. Uh, it's a fairly big courtyard apartment building. So at this point, there are multiple families, at least a dozen, uh, that are right now displaced. Fire officials here in Chicago have not uh, yet released a cause of this fire. We are live this morning in the Roseland neighborhood. Anthony Ponce, Fox 32, Chicago. So